Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. You know what to do, like, share, and subscribe. I would be remiss of me not to acknowledge the significance of today. Happy Father's Day to the amazing fathers in this world who are doing everything that is necessary to ensure that their children are good and whole people, that they're not broken in any way or any form. Um, Father's Day for many years was a very touchy day for me because the relationship with my dad um, and I were a bit um, strained uh, as a child growing up. You know, I had my issues with him and what I thought or how I thought he failed um, in his role as a, as a father. And it was only when I got older in life that my, my, my relationship with my father developed. And that was because my relationship with God also developed. It was hard for me to believe in a God that in my mind gave me a father that was pretty much absent most of the time as well. So it was just like, well, if he's supposed to be you here on earth, he's, he's not doing a really good represent, re really good job of representing you. Um, that was my thinking at the time when I was a child. Um, but I want to give a shout out to Pastor Smith, Pastor Wyclef Smith. I love this man so much. He was um, such a good spiritual father to me and and by him being that example, my relationship with my biological father also developed. And I would not replace my dad for anyone or anything in the world. Um, you know, we've gone through it. We had to resolve our issues. We're constantly growing and evolving and learning. And strange enough, as I get older, I'm getting my, my characteristics are leaning more towards my father, which is so ironic. I never thought that I would have more of his traits than my mother. Um and there's a special bond or connection there even though we may not speak often or what's not um whenever something is wrong with me my dad knows it he senses it he calls i always say what happened you must have dreamed about me man and he starts to laugh i just want to honor him because i remember when i fell in love with him and everyone thinks that oh wow you know you're supposed to have a, a loving relationship or what's not with your dad or what's not i, I it, it wasn't like that for me I, I think there was a thin line between love and hate because you want the attention, you want the love, you want um, him to be proud of you. And when you're not getting that, you start to become a little bit rebellious, I think, in my own way. And I remember I came home from the UK. I was an adult at this particular moment in time. And there was like a documentary about my dad on the news or on St. Martin TV or something. I was like, whoa. And I realized in that moment, it was the first time in my life I saw him. I saw him not just as my dad and for the things I thought that he should have done or could have done better, but I saw him for the man that he was. And I saw his fears and his failures and his success and him just trying to figure this thing out called life. Do you know what I mean? And I fell in love with him because I saw him. Today, I want to say to anyone who may have had an estranged or strange relationship with their with their fathers as long as your dad is still alive there is time to repair that relationship nothing is unrepairable until we give up the last breath i truly truly believe that and the relationship that my dad and i share today is one that i cherish greatly but if we didn't go through our share of obstacles and um falling outs or disagreements i don't think that we would be in this space today um does he drive me up a wall yes he does does he get under my skin yes he does does he ever answer his phone no he does not have i accepted that this is junior yes i have um and i love him to bits so i just want to do this video today because i've never really given my dad the accolade or the praise that he's entitled and he is due um, you know, we make reference to my grandfather often because of the, of the tremendous, um, contribution that my grandfather has made to my country, but my father has made his own contribution in his own right. And he is a giant amongst men. You hear me? He is a giant amongst men and he, and his legacy will continue in all of us. And daddy, I just want to say that I love you. I honor you. Thank you. And happy father's day to him and to my brothers and to my uncles and to the to the men in my family the extended elders the men who looked out after me uncle fabian uncle asana uncle david like the list is endless and i can call 
numerous names and I will never have enough gratitude to say thank you because I am a product of all of you and I appreciate and I honor you guys so much. So have a great day. Happy Father's Day. Bye.